what is happening YouTube thanks for stopping back by the channel today right here with the Rust Belt Mechanic now today we are going to be talking about something a little bit different every time that you take your car or truck or whatever vehicle you have to a professional shop there are quite a few different little charges at the end of the thing your uh, little printout for you now these are kind of hard to decipher and you know you don't want to have to go digging through the da vinci code but we're going to be talking about what exactly are shop supplies that's always something that's charged onto the end of your bill for you and everybody thinks that oh this is just another thing for the shop to screw me over on and just charge an extra amount but we're going to go through today what the shop supplies charge actually is and why it is needed for each time you go to the shop So shop supplies, there's something that each and every shop charges so they can have just certain small amounts of things in their shop to complete the jobs that they don't have to charge you those little nickels and dimes for on each one of your bills. So for instance, we're going to go through a couple of them here in the shop, but just for instance, your tire plugs, your valve stems, and like wheel weights. We don't charge you for those, you don't see those on your bill. but we still have to pay for them. So I'm gonna walk through the shop here and I'm gonna just show you how many things are here in the shop that we charge out for our shop supplies account. One of our main suppliers that we use for a lot of our shop supplies is Tifco Industries. They are just a specialized distributor who you know handles all of the smaller things that shops need. Everything from batteries, to the gloves that we use so that your car doesn't get all dirty. When we have to take old gasket material off, we have these uh, discs that go on our little air guns, more discs, blades for taking gasket material off, thread sealer. Let's go through these, some of the couplers and the airlines that we use, cut off wheels, screws for reattaching some hardware because everybody loves to hit parking blocks rivets paint sticks for grease and battery cable ends you know just more of these things that we don't charge the customers for but we still have to pay for them so for instance each of these things they do cost quite a bit a thing of these batteries for the lights that we use they probably cost you know five bucks a pack these screws in here for putting on fascias on that people hit parking blocks with, they probably cost eight bucks a pack. These cut off wheels, you got a pack of about 15 of them. They cost about, you know, eight or nine dollars a pack. And you know, it goes on. But that's an idea of what we got over here for some shop supplies. We've got some earplugs, which, yeah, who uses earplugs? But it's there for that Scotch Bright. We've got some little sanding discs, PB Blast because we do live in the Rust Belt because everything's freaking crusty around here. Little recoding things, paints, greases. But yeah, that's a good uh, little show of things over here. Hoses, wiring, clamps for fittings. We've got all the different kinds of hoses. Again, all of these are not charged for usually. Sometimes the hose is, depending on what it is. The bigger stuff that we have that's like heater hose up there, we do charge per foot on that one. But the small miscellaneous hose, we do not charge for that. So there's another charge. Those hose reel, the reel of hose, those each probably cost about $20 to $25 a piece. And walking back down through the shop, there's our press. And then we come to our brand new fancy uh, Hunter tire balancer. It's a Road Force tire balancer. So as you can see, we have a nice selection of all different kinds of wheel weights. Everything from steel ones, aluminum ones, LH body weights, 
and then we also have these stick-on weights that you don't have to put onto uh, the beads of wheels because most uh, modern wheels don't have beads that you can actually hammer on a weight to anymore. So all of those are shop supplies. The little marking discs, since we have to, mar or the marking pens, the wax pens, we have to mark these wheels so that we can road force balance them. Those are shop supplies. Going over here to our snap on tire machine. Valve stems, valve caps, there are like four different kinds of valve caps we use and we like to match up the ones that they already have with and come with from the factory. So we have all the different kinds of those. And then over here we've got tire plug stuff, plug patch kits, sealers, more plug things, the plug tools, more different kinds of valve stems. Again, all shop supplies. Those valve, uh, the valve caps and those boxes, they come out to be in like five or ten dollars a piece. You know, it's got like 50 or 70 of those in there, but you know, it still costs money. Our sealer for our tires, that's like 14 bucks a can. The tire plugs, those are, you know, like three dollars a sheet, I think. Like two fifty or three dollars a sheet all money that shop supplies. Come on over here. There's Brandon hard at work. Say hi Brandon. He's working hard. So here we've got our large TIFCO assortment of everything. We've got it all uh, labeled here, very nice and neat. We've got zip ties, ring clips, heat shrink tubing, more zip ties, grease zerks, all the electrical assortments that we need, we go through these like water. We have to do wiring repairs, not those, those don't get used that often. But fuse holders, butt connectors, I really like, these are something that everybody has to have in their shop. They're butt connectors with heat shrink that's built onto them. This specific one has it with two different size gauges on each end of it makes it nice for doing remote start kits and all the other little odd wiring jobs. Eyelets, see there, all of these are heat shrink ends. Really neat things to have. Drain plugs, drain plug gaskets, cap screws, bolts, nuts, and as you know, hardware goes, you have to have that around here because again, rust belt, shit rusts, shit breaks, gotta fix it. More stuff that you know, I'm not sure about what all that costs, but I'm sure it's pretty pricey for the shop that we have to keep those on hand. Looking over here, something else that nobody really thinks about, washer fluid. This uh, jug of washer fluid is like $100, $120 for a 55 gallon drum of washer fluid. Each car that comes through the shop here just gets automatically refilled if we're doing a multi-point inspection. So there's a gallon of washer fluid used on each vehicle just about and then brake clean because we don't have the money to run through so many rags all the time we use brake cleaner we spray off a lot of the bottom sides of engines when we do oil changes or heavy repairs that there's a whole bunch of oils or chemicals that are spilt on your engine those get into our uh, spray bottles and they're sprayed off your underside of your car with that that's about another hundred and twenty dollars for the small uh, jug so this is just shop supplies a little bit of everywhere all over the shop nobody really understands how many actual shop supplies we have to keep in stock just to use on a daily basis so when you see that little bill at the bottom of your car bill that says shop supplies and usually it says three percent of your bill up to fifteen dollars you'd have to imagine that normally on the bills you are the ones making out not the shop we're using more supplies in your vehicle doing a mount and balance of tires than what we actually pay for a lot of those things. So think about that when you see that next bill for shop supplies. I hope this was a nice little informational video for you guys. I enjoy doing these little things as well just to give you guys an extra little viewpoint into what shops actually function with and how we do our jobs on a day-to-day -day basis. 
thanks for stopping in today, guys. I really appreciate all the help and support that you give to me. I'm gonna go and enjoy the rest of my weekend, maybe do a little drinking, do a little fishing. You guys should really do the same. And tell you what, make sure you stay awesome. Thanks for tuning in.